on, put your helmet down on the table. You won't need it. Now, come with me. Where are you going? Outside with you. I'm going to show you where I live. No, wait. You can't push that button. You let all the air out of the station, and we'll be dead in seconds. You mean like this? That's incredible. You've opened the hatch without closing the decompression door, and we're still alive. Very much alive. Do you want to come with me? Out there, without my helmet. You're breathing now, and the hatch is open. That means you can breathe out there. Come, I want to introduce you to my friends. Your friends? There are more. There are many thousands. We have ambrosial nectar that gives us long life. This doesn't make sense. Yet the hatch is open, and I'm still alive without my helmet. <laughs> okay, you lead the way, and I'll follow. This is beautiful, the most beautiful place I've ever seen. What's your name? My name is Shakuntala. Shakuntala, Shakuntala, I love you. I want to live with you always, forever here. Yes, you can stay with us, Charles, but you can't stay with us in that body. What do you mean? Your body. It's from Earth. Earth men can't live here on the moon in their bodies. You'll have to change your body. Change my body? Yes. You will need a moon body to live here. Shakuntala, I will do anything to stay here. But this body is all that I am. There's nothing beyond the body. No, Charles. The Earth body cannot live on the moon surface like we do. You are with us now. But only because we have helped you to be with us. But if you want to live here for any length of time, you need a different kind of body. So, you mean I have to somehow change my body? Yes, that can be arranged, and then we can enjoy for tens of thousands of years drinking ambrosial nectar. Hello, Houston. This is Moonbase One. Come in, Houston. 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 This is Moonbase One. Come in, Houston. Moonbase One. This is Houston. We read you. Any sign of Charlie? Not yet, Houston. His suit's missing, but there's something odd about that. What do you mean odd? Well, the helmet's here inside the chamber room. It almost looks like he went out without his helmet. That's not possible. He would have died immediately. Well, we agree, Houston, but that's the strange thing. If it's not here, he must have gone outside. But where and how did he leave without his helmet, Captain? Hold on, Houston. Dave's just returned from outside. I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Dave, Captain, we found him. You found him? Yes, sir. About a quarter of a kilometer from the base. Is he? Yes, sir. Can you tell what the cause was? Yes, sir. There's no doubt about it. He died because of lack of oxygen. His tanks are empty. Not exactly, sir. What do you mean? Well, Captain, he died because he didn't have his helmet on. In fact, sir, there was no helmet to be found with him. He just didn't have a helmet with him at all. That's impossible. Without his helmet, he wouldn't be able to take two steps outside. He would have died instantly. I know, sir. Logic says that it's not possible, but he's out there, sir, and there's no helmet, and it's not exactly like there was someone around to carry away a helmet, you know. He was all alone up here. Hmm. Don't we know? All alone for over a year. All alone. What in God's name's happened here? We may never know, sir. We may never know. <laughs> 